Hello. Hello, Lucy. <laughs> Hi. Please, please, can you talk me through blazers? Oh, blazers. I'm, I, I don't know if I love blazers or coats more because I probably have an equal amount. Um, so I think what would be great, I can tell you about the history of some of them because I think that's interesting, but also I'll tell you about the ones that I feel every woman should have considering her wardrobe. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to start with the most classic of a blazer, the navy blazer. Mm, All right. Okay. Now, there is my favourite navy blazer and my second, actually my totally favourite, I tell a lie. This is my navy blazer moment. All right, and there's a lot in here and I'm loath to get rid of any of them because they all have a place. But I'm gonna pull out one of my old favorites, which I won't be able to get into, and one that I am asked about more than any other. The others are just all some, actually I'll bring out that as well. Okay, so. The reason I think a navy blazer is good is you have a white t-shirt, a little long gold necklace, a pair of jeans, a trainer, a navy blazer. Your classic French chic, I think it's fantastic. So. If I look at my sort of summer weight classic navy blazer, it's either going to be this one, which I got in Zara maybe probably eight years ago. And I wear this over a navy dress or I wear it just like over a skirt. It's the wrong length for me to wear over jeans. But what I love, Lucy, is I love this color. Yes. And it's What just, would you call it? I would call this French Navy. No, I'd call, yes, French Navy. Okay. Okay, let's talk about different navies. This is French Navy. This is Air Force Navy. Right. It's slightly cooler and greyer. And that's just Navy Navy, if I could have that as a terminology. Uh, what I love about the Zara one, and it's nearly, I'm just looking in the mirror, is it, it still works as a, as a blazer. With the skirt, it's lovely. I adore this lapel because this lapel has been in an, in fashion for a long time, so I feel it's become a classic. And some jackets can look old fashioned, but I don't feel this does. And I adore the color, so whenever I'm tired, I put this on with a long cost dress underneath and I adore it. But at the back, the length is not great for me to wear with a pair of jeans. Okay. You see, just, yeah. I, just that's me. Yeah. I'm very particular about my length. The fabric is quite cheap. I had contemplated getting this made in a really beautiful fabric, but the color I found really difficult to replicate. So a few years later, and this follows a lot of my journeys, Lucy, I find something, I love something, I'm feeling in the money, and I go and spend on an expensive version. Right. So this is the expensive version. Uh, this is a slightly brighter navy. I might call this nearly the same, but it's a little bit brighter. But the, you know, it's a really well-behaved, beautifully structured, wonderful fabric. Mm -hmm. It's a bit small for me because what I adored about this jacket is it did up, even though it's double-breasted, that's the button. There oh, was a time clever. when that hung straight. Okay. It doesn't do it anymore. So if you have a jacket, and it's a great tip also, I'm gonna show you in a minute, for women who are in an apple shape and never can wear a belt, it's getting a jacket one size too small, and if it's tight on the arm and it has a lining, get some scissors, cut the lining. So it gives you a bit more wiggle room, but it will give you a nice shape. But I'll, I'll show you that with another blazer. Not with that one. Not with this one. And you know, if you want to covet a really expensive item, which is classic like a blazer, go on to Vestia Collective or maybe Depop, eBay, look up some, some stars you like from designers that are classics and just try and find one second hand. Do you often see designs uh, replicated on the high street? So much. I'll give you an example, actually. So this, no, I gotta start with the original because there's a story to this. This is a Stella McCartney shape she did for years. I think she did it for four years in a row and it was this narrow double lapel. And I loved this double narrow lapel. So I got it in the gray, that was the first one I got. It's way too tight now, I need to cut the lining here because mm. I can't bend my arm. But the shape is beautiful and it's a wonderful kind of marl gray. So would you cut the lining over having a piece put into the sleeve? You could put a piece put in the sleeve if you can find the same fabric and then here you'd want the piece put in under your arm where you don't see it. So I got that one and I loved it and I wanted it in blue. This is before I found the Celine. So I was in India, it's very naughty of me, I was in India and I'm Khan Market in Delhi, fantastic, 110 pounds. They made me this jacket. I took the Stella McCartney jacket and no. they made me this jacket. Yes, sorry Stella. 
I wouldn't have known the difference. Yeah, and it's just because I love the design and she never made it in this colour and I wish she, I kept wanting her to make it in this colour and she didn't. So that's what I did. And I just, because I loved it and I worshipped it and it's a homage to her. If anyone ever asked me, I say, I had it made. Wow. Yeah. So that's a bit tight too. Then, just when you're talking about the inspiration of the high street, and I think, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people talk about inspiration of the high street. I'm going to give you a really good example. This is the same one in white. I did get it in white. Stella McCartney. Yeah. And nobody copied this. Okay, that's uniquely her. But Zara did this. Okay. So there's two things here. I prefer this one to the Stella because I'm not great in cream. Okay. And this is in white. And I must wear this jacket so much. And people on Instagram, I think you say to me, where is the jacket from? And what I love about this is when I wear it with a high-waisted black trouser, this stops exactly at the trouser. Yes. And that's a very flattering length for a button, place for a button start. So yes. just give you an idea of that. Oh, look, you know what I did? I bought a second one and I haven't worn this one yet. They were 69 pounds. Bought it, okay? Like last summer, just no label. It's my fresh one when the other one gets dirty because the other one's actually in the wash. So this doesn't work, the proportionality, because my trousers there and the buttons there but when i wear something like this trouser which is quite a high-waisted trouser um it will actually sort of come up to there and then the button does up at a really great place to make your legs look long right that's my next question so that makes your legs look longer makes your legs look longer also when we were talking about you know ladies who want to give themselves a waist this is a very very good shape if you can fit the arm, and this one has a slightly stretchy arm, I've got a very full blouse on underneath, but it gives you that waist there that you might not otherwise have, and especially from the back, it will give you a nice shape, and from the side. So consider that if you're in apple shape, getting these wasted blazers. Okay. They got lightly, so we had terrible ranges now. We thought we were literally going to be smothered by the rain. Now we've got this lovely light coming through. We're so lucky. It's so typical. Okay. <laughs> So those are quite classic yes. whites and things. Another one which I always coveted this and then I got it. And you know, I'm gonna just tell you now, this is only one shade lighter than the cream. Yes. It's not white, but it's ecru. So if you always ask me about the difference in colors, I suit white, ecru is just about okay. Mm -hmm. Cream is not so great. Yeah, that's your white. This is, yeah. So this is by Balma, and River Island went on the high street and did some Balmas, which you, Lucy, wore I did. once, didn't you, yes. when you did something on this morning? And <laughs> yeah, so this generally, these um, jackets have six buttons, and I lost one, so I made it four. Oh, it is lovely. But it is the most beautiful shape. I feel it's really tight today. I'm just, my sleeves are very tight. There should be a button here. But, and also I'd like to have a higher waisted trouser but it's a really beautiful shape. Yes, that's quite cool with the four buttons. Yeah, I feel because I have the memory of it with the six yeah. that I'm missing two. That's kind of yeah, when I look at it. but I wouldn't look at it and think, oh, there's that two you're buttons missing. That's missing. But these are hardly ever, I can't use that, it's so tight, I can't get it off. Look, I can't get it off. Do you need a hand? <laughs> Vanity of this thing, I can't give it away, I can't get it off. Oh my God, that's, that's just like, that's so, s okay. She's free. Okay, so I got it off. So, so when we're looking at what are the essential, not essentials, but what are great blazers to have, I'd say a classic navy, a white or off-white, because also you can sort of shrug it on your shoulders, which is look I like to do. And then I'm going to go to, you should, or if you can, feel you can get there, invest in some sequin or shimmer, because... Well, what's you, the difference? Well... Shimmer, that's not a sequin. Uh, uh, in French, they're called a paillette, which are these round little, um, this is embroidered and paillettes, but the round things are paillettes, sequins, we call them. Okay. Maybe. This is just, sh this is not even shimmer, this is metallic. It's a, it's, it's a silver or gold. Um, you know, I also have full on paillette, which is ASOS. But these things make me so happy. When I wear them, I just think, you know, if I'm having a really difficult, dull day, and I think, hey, I want to say I'm here. I'm here. 
I'm here, dress Fresh it down. For you. It's just like, hi, <laughs> welcome. What should we do today? You know, it just it lets you walk in a room and people to smile. They might think, have I, you know, walked into a um, what are those guys, pearly queen conference? But it doesn't matter. You feel you will feel amazing. And if you couldn't do something this crazy, which is from ASOS, then you could do something more chic. So my favorite sequins are ASOS. I have this one in silver and white. So they do really good sequins. Zara do great sequins. Let's go to this. And this similar cut, actually. What they did is they looked at Balma. Balma is very well known for this really structured um, shoulder pad. And if you have sloping shoulders, it's incredibly good if you can get a jacket which makes your shoulders straight because all your clothes will look better and hang better. So if you have a little shoulder or a sloping shoulder, consider blazers are your best friend to put your body in proportion. So this is a very good example of the um, inspiration by Zara of that Balmain shoulder that I just had on in the white jacket. If you had a jacket that didn't have that shoulder, could you add a shoulder pad? You could, but I think if I look at this, um, it's, oh, I see. do you see, I mean, it yeah. is a shoulder pad that, but it's not, what's interesting, it's not the 1980 shoulder pad, because the 1980 shoulder pad was set further out, so you felt your shoulders were really big. What they've done is they've made a narrower um, section here, so the shoulder pad starts further in. So in the 80s, the shoulder pad would be out there. Got you. And this is snugger. Okay. Snugger, can I say that? Snug, more yeah. snug, snugger. But that, that's not as over the top as the sequin baby. Great shape, no buttons, no fuss. If you are curvy, this is such a good shape for you. And if you are an apple, this is a good shape for you because there's nothing where you have to pull. If you have big boobs, it's a great shape because there's nothing that's going to hang like a ledge. It's going to gently go over your boobs and down again. And I also like the length. It's very good for skirts and it works for jackets. Yeah, it's a lovely jacket yeah, actually. It's a really good one. And these are like, you know, 50, 60 quid. But I will just have these, you know, I'll be 90 years old, at Lila's baby's christening, and that will still work in my cupboard. It won't age to me. Always no. be there, it's classic. Seriously lacking colour for you, Trini. Yes, it is. So let's, let's get on some colour. I actually, I've got some summer blazers downstairs. So I just thought I'll bring up the brightest. It's not the best shape, but I love yellow. So this is also ASOS um, and it is, it is a purely Trini London yellow. My lip today, by the way, because you always ask me my lip, this is Pia mixed with Lila. It's my new favorite combination. Um, so this is just a little bit of color. You know, shapeless as a blazer, I've got to say, it has no merit in its shape. It's not a good shape, but because it's a bit too boxy. Yeah. Um, and the sleeves have to do it too short but it's color. Yeah, would you get that tailored? No, because it, I just don't remember spending a huge amount on it and it has some trousers and it's something I wore a couple of times. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might pick it up again in a couple of years and wear it as a trouser suit with the trousers. Another blazer, which is a tricky one, but some people might love or not love, I think is a velvet blazer. And this is from Frida and Frida, was the um, in-house brand of matches. So I bought this and I remember I didn't wear it properly for the first couple of years and now I wear it a lot. And in the winter I wear it with my high-waisted jeans. But it's just, these are all a bit tight for me now, but I don't need to do them up. I think I'd even nearly wear a black blazer in velvet because velvet is such a flattering fabric against skin. Why? It just carries a little bit of reflection because the length of the fabric itself, it's a longer fabric, so it, it sort of takes light in and I feel bounces it off. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, if I had this in a flat blue, it wouldn't be as illuminating as this color. So if I put on now, I can show you this in a plain black jacket and a black velvet blazer, because there is a big difference. I mean, this is a Comme de Gasson. It's not gonna fit me, I don't think. It is going to fit me. This is a weird little blazer, a very different shape. I wear, used to wear this with a high-waisted skirt, but it did actually, it did do up here, and now it doesn't. But if you see that black... It's flat. It's quite flat. Yeah. It's not bad, but it is quite flat. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. This is from Mango. They, they were very good last year with Velvet. Can you see 
the richness of the fabric yeah. in that. Yeah. I don't know how visible it is, but there's just something. No, you can see where yeah. it catches the light. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so a, a velvet blazer, it might seem 70s weird, 70s very in the season, but I love a velvet blazer. Yeah, it's just luxury. Luxury. Lux Lux. Lux Lux. We like a Lux Lux. <laughs> we like a Lux Lux. I think jackets don't always need to be worn. And this is a Zara last winter. This is black tweed, which is not the best colour to do it with. But a lot of time I'll just do a jacket like that. And mm -hmm. I've done this for, you know, I've done this probably since I was about 30. Uh, it wasn't done because I felt hot. It was just done because I didn't like where jackets ended if they were totally straight against my leg. So I liked the fact that there was movement around the hem. It wasn't so structured. And I just feel it gives something else to, yeah. to an outfit. And if I put it on, I think it just looks more classic and sometimes I don't want to look too classic. So it's nice like that and it fits, but it, it becomes a little more, it's not so high. And I like things to be high. Welcome, how are you? I just, I don't know how else to put it into words. Sometimes when jackets are the wrong length, I will put a gilet underneath them to change the length of the jacket. So that's the jacket and it's just too short for me and the proportions aren't, for me, they're not great. So what I tend to do is I will put on a gilet and this one is an old Zara one and then I put this on top. I'll probably do this look with a black trouser. It would work best with a black high-waisted trouser, but I'll give you an idea. So it just means that the hang, sorry, I'm just gonna have that. It just has this hang here. So you don't see where the jacket ends and my bottom begins. Mm -hmm. And you don't see, in fact, that my legs are quite short. It's, it's an illusion. And a lot of dressing for me is an illusion. I'd probably have a high-waisted black trouser here. So Imagine that's a high-waisted black trouser, but it just gives something nice. And you have to have the right fall, so you mustn't be tugging in at the gilet. It's got to just hang perfectly down like that. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorites, actually, this, which is just, it was, it's called Unreal Fur. This I've worn, I have so many memories of wearing this. It cost me about sort of 80 pounds in a shop called The West Village on Kensington Park Road but I just liked the way it hung down. It looks a bit tired now, but there was something, it's very, I will get an electric shock. So if I've been on a carpet and I'm running and I touch somebody, I give them an electric <laughs> shock because it's that fake. But the color is pretty. I could go on and on, couldn't I? You could, um, yes. But it just gives you an idea. So classics are, you know, investment dressing. So consider a navy blazer, a great white jacket. Um, consider something sparkly. Um, to just bring life to you, a little faux fur to feel sort of, you know, luxury, and a bright to cheer you up with a sequence or two too. Well, which one are you going to wear now? Um, I don't think I keep this on because I'm so hot. <laughs> I think I might have to just take on a pad, put on a t-shirt. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Trini. Okay, Lucy, bye. Bye.